to the market to buy food for our mothers. We were having great fun talking about school and about teachers. Today, all of the adults were huddled in groups, whispering and arguing. We heard them say that they were going to the rest of the town the night before, and that the trial was to be held that day. We wondered who had been We were sad to hear that it was Jesus, the new teacher from Nazareth, who was under arrest. All the children in our town loved Jesus because he was so kind. He told us stories and always spent time for us. But we also knew that many people in Jerusalem hated Jesus because they had heard stories about him. They heard that he made sick people well, made bad people good, and even made dead people alive. They were afraid he was becoming too powerful. He was now under arrest. And he was going to be brought before Pilate, the Roman governor. We knew that Pilate could sentence our friend Jesus to be killed. We were so upset, some of us started to cry. But we decided to go to Pilate's palace to see if we could do anything for Jesus. First station, Jesus is condemned to death. There is Jesus now, standing quietly and calmly before Pilate. He is bruised and bleeding from the beatings. They have made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Pilate wants to place the people, so he orders that Jesus be crucified. O oh, poor Jesus, how can they do this to you? How can you be so calm and quiet when they spread untrue stories about you? Why don't you shout out, No, I'm innocent. Stop hurting me. Dear Jesus, please stop me never to make fun of anyone. Please forgive me for all the people names. Make me high and love you all. Second station, Jesus takes up his cross. Now the soldiers made Jesus carry a big, heavy cross through the streets. The cross looks so big and heavy, and Jesus looks so tired and weak. Each of us has our own cross to carry, each of our problems big and small. Dear Jesus, help me to carry my cross. Help me to set up our heart to school, to do my homework well, and to be helpful and good for my mother, my father, and my teacher. Third station, Jesus falls for the first time. Oh no, the cross is too heavy for Jesus. He has fallen to the ground, but look. He is dragging himself to his feet again and continuing on his way. Dear Jesus, how can you be patient with everyone? When my own cross gets heavy, how can you not to give up easily? The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. Now Mary, Jesus' mother, pushes herself to the front of the crowd and meets her son, Jesus. How can she cope knowing that her son is in such pain and will soon have a terrible death? Oh, Jesus, all of us always to be comfort to our own mothers. As you comforted your mother at that party, they love us so much, and their thoughts and prayers are always for their children. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus to carry his cross. The soldiers notice that Jesus is too exhausted to go on. So they force a man named Simon to help Jesus carry his cross. Oh Jesus, help me always to be willing to help others who are in need. I do not want to be selfish. Help me to show love and compassion to everyone. The sixth station, 
brought the wife's face of Jesus. Look, I see our neighbor, Veronica, wiping the face of Jesus with a cloth. His kind, loving face is covered with sweat and blood. Where did she get the courage to rush past the soldiers and act in such a kind manner? The soldiers are very angry with her, but Jesus smiles and thanks her. The image of his face stays on that cloth as a reminder of all that Jesus suffered today. Dear Jesus, help me to be kind like Veronica. Teach me to show love and kindness to others always. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. Jesus is so tired that he falls again under the weight of the heavy cross. He is bruised and bleeding, and the soldiers whip him to hurry him along. Dear Jesus, I want you to be strong and determined, and without you seem to be right. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the woman of Jerusalem. I see my mother and some of the other women crying and feeling so sorry for Jesus. They love him very much. As he passes them, Jesus speaks to them, even though he is very tired of them. He asks them not to cry for him, and they seem to be comforted by his words. Dear Jesus, allow me to be a comfort to others when they are suffering. Teach me not to think of my own troubles, because we do not have to help my enemy and friends. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. By now, Jesus is absolutely exhausted. He has come to the hill where he will be crucified. As he carries the cross up the hill, he falls the third time. I am sure he feels that he can't go on anymore. Dear Jesus, give me the courage and strength to go on when I'm not doing well in school or at home. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. The soldiers now tear Jesus' clothes from his battered, bloodstained body. He looks so weak and frail. Poor Jesus, they have taken away your clothes, but they have not taken away your great love for us. You have shown love to us, even they are in you. Help us never to be in you again, but let's love you always. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Jesus is in as the soldiers nailed his hands and feet to the cross. I cannot bear to look at the pain on Jesus' face. But still, he asks his Father in heaven to forgive the soldiers. Is there no end to this man's compassion and love and forgiveness? Dear Jesus, help me to love and forgive my family and friends, even when they hurt me. Teach me not to bear grudges and have enemies, but to forgive and forget. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. After three long hours on the cross, poor Jesus dies. Darkness settles over the land, even though it is only three o'clock in the afternoon. The earth trembles, and we are all afraid. I am so sad to see Jesus die on the cross. The third 
13 session, Jesus is taken down from the cross. The body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. His heartbroken mother Mary holds him in her arms and cries. It is so sad to watch her holding the limp body of her son. Dear Jesus, help me to be a comfort to others when they are sad. Help me to console my mother and my friends when they are sad. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. called Joseph, offers a tomb to Mary for the body of Jesus. With great love and sadness, his body is wrapped in a clean sheet and laid in the tomb. This tomb is a small garden. A big stone blocks the opening of the tomb. A soldier is ordered to stand guard over the tomb in case somebody steals the body of Jesus.
discover that this was not the end of the story of Jesus. It was the beginning of the story. On Sunday morning, when his friends went to his tomb to pray, they found it empty. Jesus was dead and now he is alive again. They were so happy and so were we.